Well, hello there, everybody. Welcome to the town of dinos. This is Dino Discovery, where I share some super cool dino facts with you. Come on, let's get started. Acrocanthosaurus. Acrocanthosaurus. Acrocanthosaurus' fossils are mainly found in the United States. Isn't it crazy to think these used to live in the same places we live now? The Acrocanthosaurus, when fully grown, would have been 35 to 38 feet long, whereas the very well-known Tyrannosaurus Rex grew to be 40 feet long. So it wasn't that much smaller than the king of the dinosaurs, the T-Rex. True or false? Which one is true and which one is false? One, the Acrocanthosaurus was related to the Spinosaurus. Two, was the Acrocanthosaurus a carnivore and known as an apex predator? Apex predator means he was at the top of the food chain. Kentrosaurus. Kentrosaurus. The first fossils of the Kentrosaurus were found by the German Tendaguru expedition in 1909. They thought the bones belonged to a stegosaur. This was discovered in July 1910 by Werner Janesch. In 1915, Edwin Hennig coined the name Kentrosaurus. Did you know the Ketrosaurus was generally measured up to 15 feet and weighed about one ton? A ton is 2,000 pounds. True or false? Three, the Ketrosaurus would walk on two legs and would run faster than a cheetah. Four, the Ketrosaurus would swing its tail as fast as 31 miles per hour, faster than a grizzly bear. Hey, what dinosaur do you think looks like the Ketrosaurus? That's right, the Stegosaurus. Brachiosaurus. Brachiosaurus. The Brachiosaurus was unusual to the area their bones were found. They did not resemble, resemble is another word to say looks like, any of the other dinosaurs that roamed that region, found in the Morris Information in North America. Brachiosauruses are thought to have moved in herds, or moved with their friends and family, after they had eaten all of the vegetation, another word for plants, to find more food. True or false? Five. Five is actually my favorite number. What's yours? Brachiosaurus was a cold-blooded animal and was known for its long legs. Six. The Brachiosaurus had air pockets in their bodies which would have made them float or have more stability in the water. Those are some cool facts about me. Now let's go hear some cool stuff about some other dinos. Parasaurolophus. Parasaurolophus. The first partial skeleton of a Parasaurolophus was found in 1920 by a field party from the University of Toronto along the Red Deer River in Alberta, Canada. The Parasaurolophus would walk on two legs, which is also known as a biped, and could also walk on all four legs, which is also known as a quadruped. True or false? Tell me which one is true and which one is false. Seven, the Parasaurolophus had a very diverse family. Eight. The crest on the Parasaurolophus' head was used to eat with. My friends say it looks like I have a duck bill. You know, a duck's mouth. Do you think my mouth looks like that? Pachyrhinosaurus. Pachyrhinosaurus. The Pachyrhinosaurus was discovered by a man named Charles M. Sternberg in Alberta, Canada in 1946. Even though being discovered in 1946, the Pachyrhinosaurus was not named until 1950. The horns they had may have varied on their age and whether they were male or female. True or false? Nine! The Pachyrhinosaurus was discovered in 2001. Ten! The Pachyrhinosaurus had very strong cheek teeth to help them chew tough plants. My cousin, he's a Styracosaurus, says that he saw a T-Rex today. Plesiosaurus. Plesiosaurus. The Plesiosaurus was a large marine reptile that lived during the early part of the Jurassic period. For those of you that don't know, marine means found in or made in the sea. The first complete skeleton of a Plesiosaurus was found in December 1823 by a woman named Mary Enning. True or false? 11! The Plesiosaurus had a neck almost as long as the rest of its body. 12! It had a very large head at the end of a very short neck. Fun fact, the Plesiosaurus wasn't actually even a dinosaur, though it lived with other dinosaurs during the Jurassic period. The Plesiosaurus was a carnivore, which means they ate meat. Hey, I hope you enjoyed this video because I know I had a super fun time making it. What answers did you get for all the true and false questions? Put your answers in the comments below. See you guys later.